Hello, today I'm going to uh, help you with a little bit of passive. Um, a few of my students get confused with passive all the time, so I'm just going to tell you something about it. The passive. Now, what is the passive? Well, the passive is normally used in reports or formal writing. Especially when you are trying to say or not say who is doing the action. Okay? For example, <clears throat> they ate all the food. Who ate the food? Well, they did, yes. The people. The people ate all the food. They. But when you're referring to the passive, it's not important who ate the food. It's important the food was eaten. The, as in, all the food was eaten. By who? Not important. We have eaten all the food. Now here is a different tense. This one is in past. This one is in present perfect. We have eaten all the food. So over to here. All the food has been eaten. So again, you use the same structure, the same structure, using present perfect. Present perfect has got to be over here. Past simple, the past simple has got to be over here. So I'm going to give you an, show you how to do an example, for example, in the exam. We have sold the car. Now, first you've got to think of is the person. We have sold is the verb. The car. The subject. Sorry, the object. The object has to come down. And the object then becomes the subject. The car. Now you always need to add a verb to be in when you're making the, the passive. How do you make the passive? You make the passive with a subject plus the verb to be plus the past participle. Mm -hmm. So, the car. Now, what is the verb? The verb is present perfect. So you need to put this into present perfect. The car has been. Why has? Why not have? Because the car is the third person. So you need the third person in the verb have. Have is has. The car has been plus the PP, the passport, the present, uh, the past participle. Sold. The car has been sold. Okay? So things to remember. When you see an active sentence and you've got to transfer it into a passive sentence, you've got to think of three things. First, the subject. Who? Have sold. Present perfect, for example. The car. The object. The object comes down to be the subject. Always. The car. Then you need always to put the verb to be in into the, the tense that it was. For example, here. They ate all the food. Ate is in past simple. So you need to add ate or the past simple into the sentence. All the food was eaten. Remember, that main verb goes into the past participle. Eaten. 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 But here you added the verb to be. The car has been sold. Subject, the verb to be, in the present perfect, past participle, sold. Okay? Remember, when you're doing a passive, the person is not important. You've got to decide on the person, the verb that is going into, adding in the verb in the verb to be, and then putting the past participle in the passive. But what you've also got to remember is in the exam they do not always do active into passive. They put passive into active. So you need to practice both ways, passive into active and active into passive. I hope that's helped you. Helped you. Um, please go to www.goldinimus.com and find out more information.